What's going on guys? My name's Jeff and this is Mad Hatter's Reef and today we're going to be talking about the top 10 cleanup crew for your reef tank. What's going on guys back with another video and if you're new to what we're doing here this is where I talk about everything reef tank related so if you love reef tanks like I do make sure you smash that subscribe button. So today we're going to be talking about the top 10 cleanup crew invertebrates for your reef tank so let's jump into it. Coming in at number 10 on our top 10 cleanup crew for your reef tank is the Sirith snail. Now this guy is interesting and there's some good things about them and there's some bad things about them. The good thing is that they do a decent job at eating algae. And the not so good thing is that they tend to lay eggs and lay eggs a lot. And it's to the point where it's almost a pain in the butt after a period of time. The first couple times they do it, it's pretty cool. And then eventually it's just like, again, and their eggs go all over the place. It is a good food source for some of the critters in your tank, but it can be a little bit of a pain in the butt over time. They do a decent job at eating allergy, and they do a decent job at stirring the sand bed, and that's why they're coming in at number 10 on our top 10 cleanup crew for your reef tank. Coming in at number 9 on our top 10 cleanup crew for your reef tank is the peppermint shrimp. This was the very first shrimp that I ever added to any reef tank. And the reason for that was mostly due to the fact that they're relatively inexpensive. I think yeah, you can usually pick them up for anywhere from 5 to $10. They're not quite like cleaner shrimp. They're not going to be out a lot. Uh, they do spend most of their time in dark nooks and crannies of the reef tank. But they do have a purpose, or at least from what I've been told, that they will eat Aptasia, which if you don't know what Aptasia is, it's glass anemones, which for the most people is undesirable anemones to have in your reef tank. I've never seen them eat glass anemones, but I've read it on the internet, so it must be true. Coming in at number eight on our top 10 cleanup crew for your reef tank is the Serpent Starfish, or Sea Star whichever you prefer. These guys motor down on detritus and uneaten scraps of food. They do a very, very solid job at keeping the tank clean. Sea stars are probably my favorite critter in the ocean, and the serpent starfish does a really solid job at keeping the tank clean. Anytime that Rod's food hits the water in my 220 gallon i have a little stir serpent starfish in there and he just comes flying out of whatever nook or cranny that he's in and he's hunting down some food most of the time you're not even going to know he's there but anytime that that real good food hits the water he comes flying out for a taste coming in at number seven on our top 10 cleanup crew for your reef tank is the nasarius 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 the snarry snail. Nailed it. The snail does an amazing job at keeping the tank clean and it likes to hide under the sand bed. So they're really good at keeping that sand bed turned and making sure that it looks nice and pearly white. And they have a knack for searching out anything dead. Anytime that there's anything dead in a tank and you have some snarious moving on, snails in your tank, they are usually there and they're munching down on whatever is dead in the tank. Awesome addition to the reef tank. They're going to work very hard for you. And that's why they are number seven on our top 10 cleanup crew for your reef tank. Coming in at number six on our top 10 cleanup crew for your reef tank is the cleaner shrimp. I mean, how could you have a cleanup crew without a shrimp that actually has the name cleaner in it? If you don't know what this guy can do for your reef tank, you need to learn some. And this shrimp is going to help keep your fish nice and pearly clean. They are known for removing parasites from fish as well as other things that can bother them. And 
what they will do is they'll actually set up a cleaner station so they'll have like this little spot in the reef tank and the fish if they know what this shrimp does will actually go up to this cleaner station the shrimp will jump on the fish and you'll pick at him and kind of help exfoliate his whatever and they do an amazing job at that and i really have a hard time picturing a reef tank without a cleaner shrimp coming in at number five on our top 10 cleanup crew for your reef tank is the sea cucumber now the sea cucumber does a absolute amazing job at removing detritus and other organic matter breaking it down making basically leaving it to a point that the only thing that can attack it is bacteria and they do an amazing job at helping keeping the tank clean and that's why they should be a part of every single cleanup crew out there and they're just a interesting creature and i think that they should be used a little bit more often in the reef keeping hobby coming in at number four on our top 10 cleanup crew for your reef tank is the blue legged hermit crab now this is my personal favorite when it comes to all the hermit crabs and mostly due to the fact of its coloration the picture that you're seeing here is of an adult blue legged hermit crab they don't always look like this but over time as they get older this is typically how they look and i like the fact of it has the blue legs with the red accents and the white but its front claws become dark almost like a purplish black with the white dots and they have the hairs coming off them they're really a sharp looking critter they do a good job of eating detritus they do a good job of eating algae they do a good job of attacking uneaten food and they're not the most aggressive when it comes to that stuff but they are relatively hardy and are a sharp addition to any reef tank Coming in at number three on our top 10 cleanup crew for your reef tank is the emerald crab. This is possibly one of my most favorite crabs and the one downside to them is that they aren't very hardy or at least in my experience they haven't been very hardy. Typically a emerald crab will last me about a year and then I need to replace them. You don't always see them a whole lot either but they are one of the few critters out there that will actively eat bubble algae they are a crab that needs to be well fed and i wouldn't go per the recommendations of what you would find a lot on the internet a lot of them would say maybe three to a 55 gallon tank i'd go less than that uh, due to the fact that if there isn't enough food for them they will hunt other invertebrates which in the grand scheme of things any crab that's hungry is going to do what it needs to do to eat which is something that you're going to have to consider if you're going to keep crabs in your reef tank Coming in at number two on our top 10 cleanup crew for your reef tank is the Astrea snail. This guy is an absolute workhorse and there hasn't been a lot of snails on this list. And mostly due to the fact that there's not a lot of snails out there that can right themselves up if they fall off rock work or glass. And that's really an important thing because there's a lot of animals and critters in your tank that are looking for an easy meal. And if you have a bunch of snails that are upside down in the tank, that's about as easy as it gets. So a snail that can fix itself, turn itself around, and get back on its foot is very important. If I was only going to have one snail in my tank, this would be the snail that I would have. Coming in at number one on our top 10 cleanup crew for your reef tank is the red legged hermit crab it was a struggle to put this guy at number one and the reason being is that it has some downsides to it but for the most part when you weigh in on its ability to consume detritus its ability to consume uneaten food its ability to consume allergy it is hands down the best eater of all the hermit crabs the downside to the red legged hermit crab is it's a bully it will take over the tank. And let's say you buy 20 red-legged hermit crabs. A year later, you're going to have three bosses walking around in the tank, and that's about it. But that aside, you know, this list isn't about good tank mates. This list is about who's going to clean your tank, and the red-legged hermit crab 
is the guy for the job. All right, guys, that's a wrap on the top 10 cleanup crew invertebrates for your reef tank. But before we jump off, we need to do a little winning of the mystery reef box that we took a look at in last week's video. And all you need to do to enter to win this contest is leave a comment on that video. So let's jump into our random YouTube comment picker so we can find ourselves a winner. Here we are at the YouTube random comment picker. And Salty, you are our winner of the mystery reef box that we took a look at in last week's video. Congratulations. Congratulations to the winner of the mystery reef box. The best way I have found to reach me is to jump over to Facebook, search Mad Hatter's Reef, shoot me a message, and we'll get some information from you. And we'll get that mystery reef box out to you. So I want to hear from you guys. What is your favorite invertebrate that you have in your reef tank? Leave a comment down below and you might win yourself a $25 gift certificate in next week's video. So you want to make sure you hit the bell so you can be notified when that video hits the interwebs. That's going to do it for today. I want to thank you guys for joining me. But don't be sad because there's plenty more Mad Hatter Reef videos to go around.